the Joe Rogan experience. I watched yeah. a documentary um, <laughs> called What the Health. Have you seen yeah, it? It's, like, yeah, it's filled with a lot of propaganda. And ah, nonsense. propaganda. Damn, those guys it again, is. like the Nazis. I remember well, them. It, it's, they used a lot of discredited studies, and the, there's a lot of epidemiology studies that'll connect things. That epidemiology, does that, what does that mean? Like an epidemic? Well, you could, no, we could pull up what the actual. It's about time Jamie pulled something up epidemiology, in this Epidemiology, but the way I would describe it is they would do these studies, and essentially it would be they would they would ask you what you eat on a daily basis how often do you eat meat how and it's basically a survey and in in that survey they would say well there's a direct correlation between people that eat meat and diabetes so mm. let's pull up the definition oh, I see. but the problem is what is causing here a branch of medicine which deals with incidence distribution and possible control of diseases and other factors relating to health mm. um so when they're when they're dealing with incidents, right? They're dealing with uh, how often do you eat red meat? How often do you eat this? How often do you eat that? And then they find, oh, well, there's more instances of, of diabetes in people that eat meat. Okay, but is it people that eat meat and vegetables, or is it people that eat meat and vegetables and Diet Coke mm. and and sugary sodas <laughs> and ice cream and French fries? And how are they eating their meat? Are they eating cheeseburgers from some bullshit fast food place, or are they eating grass fed steak? I are they see. eating grass fed steak and, and vegetables? And there's very little evidence that shows there's anything wrong with eating meat if you follow a normal, healthy, what they would call a primal diet. Yeah. Meaning, cut out all the grains, cut out all the sugar, cut out all the bullshit, eat vegetables and meat. And there's almost nothing. I mean, unless you have some very unusual, rare condition where you're either allergic to meat or you have some uh, very strange uh, uh, digestive system where you, you have allergies to it or you have real problems digesting it or you have real problems with high cholesterol foods which is very rare as well most of what you're getting is vegan propaganda people that want other people to be convinced that the way that they're living is the correct way and that eating meat is is physically bad for you and is causing all these harms what's causing all the harm for people physically is the modern american diet and that's been pretty right. established Yes, that's right. And there, there are clear ethical reasons to be vegan in that it takes you out of the exploitation of animals. But that documentary, yes. What the Health, that I watched was like, you know, and I've been vegetarian for years. And this, like, and I've gone back and forth to veganism because I feel, God, Jesus Christ, man, there's enough things in my life I'm not doing without not being <clears throat> out. I have an egg without feeling but guilty. But you could have pasture-raised eggs if you get them from a good farm. The, the chickens are just hanging out. I've got chickens in my garden. I'm yeah. not confident in these animals and the Why? way they go. Well, one by one, slowly, my dogs eliminate in oh, the gift I've of had life. <laughs> I've had that a few times. <laughs> Terrible feeling. I lost nine of them to coyotes just last month, maybe two months ago. That's a pretty heavy yeah, it, was, it was a heavy toll. toll. Yeah. Well, we had a fire out here, and the chicken coop burnt down. We got a smaller chicken coop, and the coyotes figured out how to get into it when we weren't home. And we came home to just feathers everywhere. It was disgusting. Oh, that's brutal. That they're, they're brutal little monsters, those coyotes. Yeah, yeah. But, they're you know, ungovernable. They're the reason why we don't have rats everywhere, too. All right. So, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's the circle of life. The yeah. Lion King was right. So, like, hey, though, um, the thing that about that vegan documentary, mate, is that it it tuned in to my pre-existing belief when it said stuff like, oh, the Diabetes Association, yes. they are funded by these meat and dairy organizations and these pharmaceutical companies. The cancer uh, organization similarly accepts donations yeah. from these organizations. And it made me recognize, like my pre-existing idea that I come to it with is, you know, like that whole pyramid of these are the things you should eat. Bread, mm -hmm. milk, you know, it just were the things that it was easy to, and cheap to produce yeah, and that were right. profitable. Um, well, they used to think that. They really did used to think that bread would, and grains were the most important thing. Do you think they felt that? I think they did. I think they thought it was it was filling and it provided energy, and I don't think they understood. Well, there was no talk of gluten intolerance when we were young. It didn't exist. No, and there was no was understanding of excess carbs, and how excess carbs leads to excess body weight, and it makes, it makes you store fat. And it, it, people didn't think about it that way. They didn't understand. There, there was... The thing about nutrition is that nutrition science is a, it's a body of knowledge that's constantly added to. Yeah, and in fact, perhaps most things are. Who knows what misapprehensions and ignorance we toil under yeah. that will be revealed to us. 